All right, everybody, this is Kyle back from MeisterVision, this time with a quick tutorial on your Raspberry Pi about how to add a, a text-to-speech module, uh, which could be really useful if you're doing a robotics um, a robotics um, project and you want to be able to, to have your robot speak to the outside world. Um, but in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to get it going. Um, we're using eSpeak, uh, a great application for doing this, and um, I'll basically just show you how to get it to install it, um, to get it running, and we're just going to read, <laughs> we're going to kind of play around and just be goofy, and I'm going to read a text file with a, a part of a, a portion of a speech by Stephen Hawking. So, um, yeah, the kind of funny thing is it does kind of sound like Stephen Hawking in real life. So, anyway, so let's get started. Um, first off, you're going to want, we're going to want to install eSpeak, so we're going to use, um, you know, let's just say sudo app-git install eSpeak. Boom. Hit enter. Pretty simple. You guys should be picking up on how uh, package management works on the works on Linux by now. So we hit yes. And I'm not sure how much space this is going to take up. <laughs> oh, there we go. About two megabytes. Not too bad. But yeah, this uh, this is really cool. So in a, in a if you have a Python script and you actually want to have your script trigger a certain speech, you can just use the terminal command um, eSpeak and then just put in quotes what you want to say, and you could just have any string that you want the the computer to say and it'll spit it right out. So um, it actually is really useful by adding to adding voice to any um, type of um, creation you're making. And there are a lot more options about how you can change the speech, who's talking, if it's a boy or girl, and that sort of stuff. Uh, but I'm not going to really go into that at, on this on this tutorial. I just wanted to show you guys how it works, how to get it. Okay. Um, so yeah, it installed. Um, now I just put a um, I put a text file called read.txt in my project slash eSpeak folder um, that we're going to try out first. Um, but let's just try something easy. So we use eSpeak space, and then we're going to put in quotes what we want to say, what we want, um, what we want uh, the computer to say. So let's just try. Hello from Meister Vision. Alright. So that worked pretty easily. Hello from Meister Vision. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of gimmicky, I guess. Uh, but I think it's still it's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, well, okay, so you can type whatever you want there, obviously. And you can change how fast the voice is, is spoken, how slow it is, if it pauses at certain uh, grammatical marks like commas and periods, and how long a pause should be. Um, you can actually, there's female voices, there's a lot of other um, options there that you can use. It's pretty, it's pretty, um, it's, it's really easy to use, that's why I like it from the command line. But you can also start adding different um, different attributes as well um, to the command um, that can do different things. But I just wanted to keep it simple. Um, so let's just try um, saying my Stephen Hawking um, uh, let's see how this goes. I haven't done this yet, so it may not it may not work at all. But let's try. So to do this, you're going to type eSpeak, and then you're going to do the dash f flag um, because we're going to we want to just speak a file and um, what, what what did I name it? Uh, read text. Okay, so um, eSpeak dash f for file, and then we're just gonna put our file in here. Uh, normally, since I'm in the directory where the read.txt is at, I can just type it directly, but um, just, I can just type read.txt and they'll know where it's at. But if you're not in this directory, you're going to have to put the whole string um, for it to know where it's at. Just FYI if you're programming. The problem of the origin of the universe is a bit like the old question, which came first, the chicken or the egg. In other words, what agency created the universe, and what created that agency, or perhaps, the universe, or the agency that created it, existed forever, and didn't need to be created. Up to recently, scientists have tended to shy away from such questions, feeling that they belonged to metaphysics or religion, rather than to science. 
However, in the last few years, it has emerged that the law of science may hold even at the beginning of the universe. In that case, the universe could be self-contained and determined completely by the law of science. Okay, so yeah, it was really fast, uh, but yeah, it totally read the text file, and it was pretty understandable from what I could tell. Um, although it's pretty deep stuff, so I don't know. Um, I don't know if I understand it. If I understood everything. Okay, so we just tried to recreate a Stephen Hawking moment, and now I just wanted to show you real quickly, kind of a sneak preview, sneak preview of what you can do um, with um, with kind of some of the different voice commands to change it. So first off, it was talking really, really fastly. And so we want to slow that down. And so you can do that with the dash S, and then you can and then you can put a number, and that'll that'll mess with the sound of it. Um, so what we're gonna do, um, this is the command you're gonna you're gonna throw at it. And um, you can see we're doing E speak space, and then we have a dash Vin dash F3. And this is actually modifying the voice that we're using. And there's and there's a ton of documentation on E speak about how to use different voices, different languages, and such. Um, but right here we have dash S100, so this will slow down. Um, we have the dash F flag for um, to to say that we want to we want them to we want it to read the te the read dot text file. So let's just hit enter and then let's see if this sounds a little bit more like Stephen Hawking. The problem of the origin of the universe is a bit like the old question, which came first, the chicken or the egg? In other words. What agency created the universe? And what created that agency? Or perhaps, the universe, or the agency that created it, existed forever, and didn't need to be created. Up to recently, scientists have tended to shy away from such questions, feeling that they belonged to metaphysics or religion, rather than to science. However, in the last few years, it has emerged that the laws of science may hold even at the beginning of the universe. In that case, the universe could be self-contained, and determined completely by the laws of science. Okay, so that, I think that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm just going to let my friend here give the final, um, the final remarks. Thanks for watching Meister Vision. Please come back for more tutorials and reviews. Alright guys, see ya.